Hey Siri, unlock the iCar. Ta-da! And not Apple iCar. This is Cherry iCar from China. And I realized it can't be Apple when I found out the price because this starts at $23,000, which is pretty that close to the price of the new iPhone 16 Pro Max. Let's have a look at this. I think we all remember the day when Apple said, we're gonna give you iCar and they, they didn't. So China was like, we will do it. And this is what happened. They created this iCar, which is completely different than what Apple was kind of promising us, right? So nobody can actually say that China copied iCar from Apple because they didn't. But they are very proud of their logo, which is very original because it is the eye. But now, very good thing for you gentlemen, have you seen those funny memes where it says iPhone, iWatch, iMac, and then a man is standing with iPad? Now you can stand with iCar. <laughs> no? First, you gotta notice that everything around the car is gonna be related to the letter I, because it is so <clears throat> original, so original. <laughs> so the DRLs over here, it's a letter I. The Matrix Vision headlights over here are not the letter I, but then they lead you to the logo in the middle, which lights up and it is the letter I. And there is going to be about 100 billion I logos around the car. And you can see how the front, the grill, if you want, sticks out over here. Come to the side because it's going to be a very cool i would say compact electric 4x4 but it's not going to be crazy futuristic and if you come to the side with me we have a 19 inch wheels with soft suspension and there you have 17 centimeters of ground clearance indicator on the side as well then roof racks square shaped side mirrors and you can also just tap the card over here to unlock the car well apparently it works for a fingerprint too, I don't know why that unlock. Can you guys guess how long is the car? It is 4.4 meters long. Come to the back. If I unlock the car, you can see the eye with a little light denture. And then I started to miss eye as a logo. But I can't even let us down because there is one right in the middle and it couldn't be any bigger. If you thought this is your spare wheel cover, you were wrong. Obviously, not only because of the shape, but because if I press here, this reveals a storage box. See? I mean, not too bad because if you do need more storage and you will understand why. <laughs> Can you stay close? If I lock the car, the storage box locks itself with it. Let's unlock it again and see the trunk. First of all, the door stays in the angle that you want to. See, Oy. thanks to the arm over here. And then we don't have that much space at the back here. We do have on the floor storage, but overall there isn't that much space at the back here. But you can put the back seats down to create more space. Also, if you are going for a roading or camping adventure, you can sleep in the car. I'm not going to show you now, but I am 100% sure that your door will have to stay open and your feet will be hanging out here because I don't think there's that, I don't think it's that long, okay? So, who is ready to see the back seats? Let's go. So this is what I was showing you, right? See the door handles? If I move closer to the car with the key, the door handles open. This is brand new, it just arrived, so there is still a lot of plastic around the car and it smells so, so new. Before I tell you to hop in and see the back seats, let's look at the door. What did I say? Everything's gonna be square. So your infinity speakers over here are square. Don't look at my finger, I chopped it off. <laughs> also, the door button to open your door is square. Then over here, you see you can operate the windows. And then this star button right here 
allows you to voice control the car from the back seats over here as well. We have more infinity speakers over here and we have two different tone letter and a little of wood trim. Come inside so we have a look at the seats. At the back there, I told you you can put these seats completely flat down to create a bed. Then, if you don't want to do that, you can also position the second row of seats. But if you need more storage space, simply lift up the seats. Same applies for the ones I'm sitting on to find 24 more liters of cargo space over there. Okay, let me close this up. Then here we have armrest with two cup holders. I don't think there's anything fancy at the back here. It's very simple, very what you see is what you get kind of car. Over here we have just two vents, charging ports. Then here we have a little pocket on both sides. I would say there's plenty of leg room, even though this seat is pretty, pretty far back. And there is plenty of headroom. We have the sunroof over here, the seats are comfortable there is absolutely nothing that could bother you it's a very soft leather and that's pretty much about it let's go and see the front oh, i am literally running out of breath i think this is the hottest winter day i have experienced it's no joke 45 degrees outside and i was like hey let's shoot outside because it's gonna be cold it's not so i'm really looking forward to get in and show you the interior come on in it is comfortable. I was really looking forward to show you this car, not only because it is affordable and hear me out, compare this to the cars in this price range, I really think this does not look cheap. I do think the car stands out, not only because of its name, but with the interior quality. Like, look, not a sound. It's not all plastic and, and badly built. It's actually a really decent car. And I really like it. And when I saw what the other people owners, because I did a little research, right? What the owners of the iCar said about this car, most of the comments were very positive and 99.9% of the owner said this car is more than just worth the money. These are massage heated and cooling two-tone leather seats and you have tight support over here as well which is adjustable and of course the seats are electrically adjustable. There is plenty of storage space at the front here. We have a glove box which you open through the screen then we have a lot of storage down here all the way to the back with charging ports. Then we have cup holders and this can be your storage but it also operates as a cooler and you can turn the cooler off or leave it as a storage. One thing that you are not about to find around this car is lots of physical buttons. The only ones that you will find are the ones that we saw at the back. So the button to open the door and to operate the windows and then the button to operate the sunroof and hazard lights. And that's about it. Everything else, Everything is being operated through the screen over here. The response is pretty good. That was a 360 of the car. Of course, we can open our charging port over here. Boop. And there you see it come out. And I can do the same with the back door. So the trunk door over there. It operates on 8155 Quacom operation system. Honestly, that is the hardest word. This is actually a 15.6 inch screen. We have also lap pets mode and a trailer mode over here. And then if I go into the car, you can see that you can operate everything through here from smart driving to charging. You can see to lights, adjust the seats over here, lock, safety and vehicle option here you can also have your alarm speed so you can adjust it on the screen over here and then the fun is when it comes to the drive modes see this diamond over here this jig oh do i get to peel it off <gasps> i did it's my favorite thing to do so if i move it look at the screen it goes immediately into the driving mode. So we have normal, sport, custom. Each one comes with a different sound. All road, ooh, ooh. <laughs> slippery, beach. Well, this is what we need here. Muddy, bumpy, eco, 
and back to normal. So there's pretty decent amount of drive modes and this car was made for off-roading. So I think anyone who gets this car, I think they will be more than happy and satisfied that they spend this amount of money for a car this good. The steering wheel looks good. It also feels good to hold and has this two-tone letter that we saw on the seats as well with the I logo in the middle. Then if I want to use this over here, it decreases or increases my temperature and then if I push it left or right I can increase or decrease the speed of the fan and then if I want to change the radio station or if I want to add volume it's with the right side. Then I have colored instrument cluster so the driver's screen over here and overall the view from this car it's pretty good. I mean I'm not one of the tallest people so I'm always like raise my seat as high as I can to see what's on the road but from here, it's pretty clear. As we said, everything is gonna be squared, so are the vents on the side here, and pretty much everything in this car is just squared. And I think the last thing for us to mention in here is that yes, the air vents are square, and here we have wireless charging port and two cup holders. And if you want to see the key, this is your iCar key. Shall we hit the road? I think so, right? Let's go. Seat belts on, safety first, and let's hit the road. What's under the hood? We have dual motor powertrain with 69.7 kilowatt hour battery with over 500 kilometers of range. That goes from zero to 100 in 6.5 seconds. And get this, this charges from 30 to 80% under 30 minutes. You might say 6.5 seconds isn't too fast for an electric vehicle. Yes, I agree, but their aim was not to create a fast car. Their aim was to create a perfect, affordable off-roader and a fun car to drive when you go on adventures. And I think they absolutely nailed this. I mean, it is very quiet. It is very comfortable. And from the moment we opened the door and we saw the car, we were like, wow, this is actually pretty good and honestly it feels nice to drive i feel very high the view is perfect it drives smoothly if i indicate you get two different angles so you get the right view over here and then you get the above of view as well and you can perfectly see how we just turn and if i straighten up the steering wheel it also shows me what's in front of me the funny thing actually is that i have reviewed so many chinese cars for you recently right and a lot of them they're not cheap they were luxury and a lot of them didn't speak english this sherry icar to be the cheapest one of them all and to speak english is i think the winner in many people's hearts <laughs> yes just don't say hey siri because the car would shut down so what do you guys think? I think it's affordable, it's pretty cool, it's different. Great off-roader and great everyday car. Let me know in comments. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time with another cool car. 